Hello my friends, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm visiting the fascinating country of Uzbekistan here in Central Asia. And I'm visiting the capital of Uzbekistan, the city of Tashkent. In this particular video we're going to visit a very popular Chorsu Bazaar and Market. You can see the roof of the main market here at Chorsu. I've never been here, so I don't know what to expect. As I said, this is the main bazaar and the main market in the city. Very, very popular with tourists, if they do make it to Uzbekistan. And what we're going to do, we're going to go inside and check it out. The roof that you see here of the Chorsu Bazaar is one of the main landmarks of Tashkent. And if you see any photos or videos from this fascinating city, you will most certainly see the roof of this market and bazaar. Now, having said that, let's go inside and let's see what we're going to encounter and find. Come on. Now the area of Chorsu Bazaar and Market is absolutely huge. You can see another market, another huge market just outside the building covered with a beautiful dome that I just showed you. What we are really interested in is this market over here. We may dedicate another video to the areas that surround this market here at Chorsu. But for now, we're gonna go in here and check out the markets that are covered under this beautiful, very Islamic in architecture dome. Let's keep it safe, let's have fun, and let's do it. And uh, here's our very first view from the interior of Chorsu Market here in Tashkent in Uzbekistan. It is around 10 o'clock in the morning in the middle of the week. And this is a very busy market indeed. And it is huge. And in order to appreciate its size, you can come up to the second floor where there's another market up here with seeds, dates, as you can see here. Here's another view of this fascinating market, very iconic, very scenic. The largest part of the market on the ground floor is a meat market. And if there are any tourists in Uzbekistan, in Tashkent, you're gonna find them here. The noise that you hear is from the shops that sell meat, from chopping the meat into pieces for the customers before delivering it. What an incredibly fascinating place indeed. You can buy fruits and vegetables, salads, horse meat. Here is a view of the dome, by the way, that we saw. Now let's go down to the bottom level and let's walk around for a couple of minutes. Our primary concern here is safety. Make sure we videotape scenes that are not objectionable to anybody, especially to women. We should not videotape women directly. This is a Muslim country, predominantly. And all the rules apply when it comes to videotaping markets around the world. Let's go downstairs. Okay, let's uh, walk around the ground floor for just a few minutes. This is the meat market. You 
to hear the noise from all the activities all around me. Let's stay on the ground floor for just a couple of minutes. I want to, you to get an idea of how it feels to be here and to experience this market. A lot of places sell cheese, very comparable to the Greek feta cheese that you can see here. Well, let's walk this way. Cheese and yogurt. Here's an area where they sell salads. You can see them here. And as I said, this is the only place in Tashkent you will find tourists. We just saw two of them. Let's continue this way. So iconic, so scenic at the same time when you look at it from the second floor. Pickles. More solid material here. Let's go this way. Chicken. More chicken. That's the second floor right up there from where I videotaped the uh, very first scene. And the diameter of this place is about 200 meters, 600 feet or so. We're back at the meat market. You can see the way the Uzbeki women dress. This is it guys. Chorsu Market in Uzbekistan, in Tashkent. Incredible, isn't it? Let's see what else I'm going to see in my life and what other places I'm going to visit and what other cultures I'm going to experience. Close to 170 countries around the world in 35 years of traveling. Bye-bye.